And you know, comparatively, right? Like if we're if this is actually Sephiroth that we're about to see here, compared to like the match that we saw already against Shulk, Sephiroth counter so yeah. good against Lucina recovery to go off stage and go just rip it. it out so that the that the up B hits it is really really good in this matchup. The counter hits very low. Um, getting that triple jump gonna be really good uh, to not get edge guarded here from Wing. Um, being able to get armor from Wing as well. Wing is gonna play a really major factor here in whether these stocks are gonna be uh, taken on the side of Smooch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last last time we were discussing when Tom was on stream, we were discussing the fact that he has the frame data advantage, but the range disadvantage. That is still true here, but even more extreme. He get it kind of getting put through the gauntlet of shorties that have more range than he does. Yeah, I'm already loving this movement here from Mooch. Right there, the neutral B cancels to fake out Tom into doing like an option so that he can just call him out for it. Really good Sephiroth play right now. Uh, he does have a very good lead, but Tom is doing a very good job at trying to get whatever openings he can and run with it. That was a really good roll, though, by Smooch. Ooh. I believe Wing should be coming out here in the next hit. Yeah. Yep. So here's that here's that access to that triple jump. Not going to yeah, find a tech that. there, but... It's you know, really hard to time it there because it's weird. But now here's the scary part for Tom, right? Now... Wing is not going to go away until Smooch either gets a certain amount of damage on Tom or, or Tom takes a stop. a stop. You have to deal with Wing here at the beginning of the stop. And that here's was the counter. very good awareness. Yes. Well, he tried to counter him, but I guess either way, hey, I guess it worked in a roundabout way, but that was really good awareness by Tom expecting that counter going to happen and he changed his recovery route to essentially go around it. And you know, the difference here between um, the range that Sephiroth is pulling out versus the range that like Mike Kirby was pulling out, for instance, with the Shulk, is that a lot of the range that Shulk had was in the air. He had to do aerials, whereas oh. Smooch, the Sephiroth, he's able to stay on lot, the well, ground. He has a lot of grounded range. Right, he's able to do these F tilts, up tilts. He's able to do like a short hop up air and like, you know. Or a short hop fair. Right, he's able to. Right there. He's able to call out these approaches from Lucina a lot better than what Shulk was able to. That was a really crucial position for Tom because the ideal scenario is to secure the stock on Smooch before he gets win. He was just a few pixels off essentially from doing just that, but now he's at kill percent, having to deal with Wing Sephiroth. And he handles this situation beautifully. Yeah, Smooch at 156, uh, 56, going to be on max rage there. Um, you know, uh, Smooch, is he going to let this get away from him? He's kind of getting juggled right now. Uh, either way, he takes the stock. And, well, Sephiroth is still a very good character with, with a lot of comeback potential. Oh. And, you oh, know, we, we will see... Um, I almost... <laughs> I thought he was going to air dodge into that for a moment. And, and there's Wing. So we will have Wing here for, for the, rest the rest of this of the game. game. So that's going to be a, a big um, a big comeback here, is that if Smooch is able to find some of these combos and maybe go off stage with the Wing, get a, an option recovery... Um, but even just the movement that Sephiroth is able to get, he's a little bit faster. Yeah, the movement. Um, the, double ju the extra jump isn't just uh, good enough itself, but it's also rather high. Oh. Wow. I don't think that was great DI on that. I think... Oh, wow. And oh, we're going... My oh, my gosh. gosh. You know, and you know... What it's, incredible it's, awareness by Smooch there. Yeah, if Smooch missed that, Smooch was dead. Um, he he could have gone back to stage and like put into a lecture situation, which was incredibly favorable to him. But instead, he called him out hard. Yeah, and you know, even on the down throw back air, I don't think that was the best DI out of the throw. Um, for I Lucina, it was like you know, a DI mix up as well. I mean, he, he, he was like in that. the middle of a sweet spot back air. I mean, if you're hitting, if, like at that percentage, if you're getting hit by back throw, back air at that percentage, you're not DIing it away like you should be. You're not. Um, but, you know, that whole situation led up to that scenario of Upbe being able to catch him off stage. Age, and even still, I really want to stress the fact that he did not need to do that, <laughs> but he did anyway because, like, he well, hard to, put out that he was going to be there. Well, to be honest, if he didn't do it, there was a chance that um, 
Tom might have made it back to Sage and reset there, it. There was. There was other options that weren't, if I mess this up, I lose. And, like, it takes it take not only a lot of awareness, but it takes a lot of confidence to do something like that. Right. I, uh, looking pretty similar to last game. Um, Tom getting a bunch of damage here. Wing coming out. But Smooch kind of consistently taking stocks earlier than Tom has been. Yeah. Uh... Even still, though, oh, if he, it doesn't matter as much if he's taking the stocks earlier or in terms of percent ranges if Tom's taking them before he loses his. Right. Um, you know, Tom at such a high percentage already, if Tom does get this kill, I think Wing is going away on this stock. But yeah. we're not going to see it because uh, Tom getting the first stock there against Smooch. That was a really bad position to be in, and, but handling it with pride. That was a really good way to work. Tom is running with this advantage state. Yeah, those were really good juggles, and that was an area where it seemed like in the last game he was kind of excelling at as well. It's just keeping Sephiroth up in the air. Um, Wing not really doing much for Smooch right now. Oh, he's in a bad position. And Tom is keeping him at just the right range, range where Sephiroth struggles to hit him. That yeah. mid range is really hard for him. Yeah, these side these have been phenomenal. The dancing blades um, from Tom, you know, he was delaying some because he knew it wasn't going to connect so he could back away, but also finding the ones that do Did. kill. If you noticed, he, the ones that killed some of them, huh? Smooth shielded, but let go of shield because he expected Tom to cancel it. To he cancel can, it, he right. He conditioned him into letting go of shield to punish it, but but in doing so, he let himself get hit by the launching hits, which now, is really good conditioning on the point of Tom. But if there's a character that can make a comeback, it is Sephiroth. Definitely. However, we are kind of at percentage-wise here where... If Sephiroth takes a stock, he still might hold on to Wing for a little bit just because of the percentage differential, but a really bad counter is going to... We're having a lot gonna... of commentator curses today, aren't we? Yeah, but, you know, just that counter is going to have so much end lag on it. So if you're throwing it out, you need to know that they're going to hit you. And Tom I know... taking full advantage of Smooch's uh, counter I know... mishap there. I know... Lucina's forward smash is strong, but shield drop is still 11 frames before the forward smash. It takes a, something with a lot of end line to be able to get hit by a forward smash out of shield. Right. Old. You know, Most counters are like that, but even still. Really oh. got to uh, commend Tom there. Really uh, showing that he was in control of that second game, doing really good juggles. Um, Smooch uh, going to have to play... Um, a little bit better in the neutral game so that he's not getting sent off stage and getting killed as early as the last time. Hey, Tom is doing a really good job of just pushing his advantage and keeping Smooch at the corner. Er, he got cheese a bit. In the wow. And, and that's the thing is that with Smooch getting that triple jump, you expect a Sephiroth to go and use, use it. Use the jump, yeah. So and what Tom a great that out. what yeah, what a great call out from Tom there. Tom is really good at just keeping his advantage and pushing him. He knows when he's in his opponent's head and knows when to extend further than you would reasonably think a Lucina would. But I will say something I'm not seeing Smooch do as much is I feel like the F tilts were coming out a lot more in game one You're to right uh, kind of keep Tom out of his range. Um, and forcing him to come into it. He has a really good advantage here right now. Oh, but you're right about the up tilts. That was a really good grab in order to keep this advantage on him. Back to neutral now. Oh, but oh yeah. very good. And there was kind of that like 50-50. Was Tom going to back away from that, or was he going to let like something rip. rip? And he decided to try to maybe get a shield poke there. With the, with the down angle on the Dancing Blade. You mentioned Tom's advantage, but Smooch just kept, kept Tom in advantage pretty much that entire time until he lost the stock. Both of these players, despite having more relatively fundamentals characters, are playing very explosively. E. E. There's just so much swinging going around. Yeah, I will say Smooch is doing a lot better here in the neutral about holding on to his space. You can definitely see where the momentum has changed a little bit. Um, now it looks like Tom is struggling to get these hits in, whereas Smooch kind of uh, 
kind of taking the distance, but Tom going to find a really good back air there at the ledge. That was really good by Tom because Smooch went really deep. He and Abe and was there for a long time. Tom delayed his recovery as long as possible, and if he did it even a little bit earlier, he would have gotten hit by that up B and died. Uh, yeah, this. Oh, that was a really uh, dangerous situation there for Smooch. If he had rolled in, he would have got hit by the down air into an F smash. Yeah, but he managed to escape it and is in advantage now. Well, not now. Now. He does have Oh, wave. wow, what a risky air dodge there. But Tom didn't get anything off of it, but a good weight. Oh, he does wow. these again. Smooch just deciding, hey, I'm just going to up B you in the middle of the stage. I, oh, my I, gosh. I, I low-key thought that he, that down tilt was going to low profile the shield breaker. Wow. This is a really bad position for Tom Smooch to be in. He might end up losing wing if he takes too much if he if Tom takes too much damage. Yeah, so here's he wants to take the stock and take it soon. So yeah, here's what's gonna happen is if we let the if this damage builds up anymore without taking the Oh! oh but the counter yeah. gonna clip underneath of the ledge. Smooch coming Dang. and taking it. You were saying that right at the start of the set. Smooch playing very explosively. He didn't get very many he, neutral wins in comparison to his opponent, but when he did, he got a stock off of almost every single one. Yeah, and you know... Those call up B callouts were doing a lot. But that was a good opportunity to go and find 